Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today to be creating with the newest line by Stephanie Lowe for Spellbinders. This is called the Just Add Color Collection, and I'll be using these two stamp sets from the collection today. This first one here is called Mandala Bouquet, and the second one with the four floral images is called the Peonies Blossom Stamp Set. I like to use all of my cardstock every last scrap. So I'm positioning all four stamps from the Peonies Blossom stamp set onto this piece of scrap white cardstock that I have, and I'm using my Misty to stamp them all at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and move, remove that foam pad because these are cling stamps, so it's not necessary to have it in. And it's actually a little cumbersome when you're trying to stamp cling stamps with the rubber on it when you have that foam pad in there. I'm going to go ahead and ink them up with Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I will stamp them all there on that cardstock. I stamped them twice, and I'm going to keep the stamps there because I'm going to go ahead and re-stamp after I finish coloring my images. I'm taking a slightly larger piece of cardstock, and I'm adding this bouquet from the uh, Mandala, Mandala Bouquet stamp set. And I'm just going to add that there, and that way I don't have to stamp them separately. I can stamp them all at the same time. And this will be helpful for when I want to go ahead and restamp as well later on after I'm done doing my coloring. So I'm going to go ahead and start the coloring now. I used Memento Tuxedo Black because it is a Copic Safe uh, ink, which means that the alcohol in the Copic markers will not make the ink run. I'm going to do this first petal in real time so I can show you my method for Copic coloring. It has changed a bit um, as I grow and learn more, I learn what works best for me. So this may not work for you, but what I was doing before I realized was not giving me as great of a blend as I wanted. So now I start with my lightest color and I put down a base. I then go in with my darkest shade, which doesn't actually end up being my darkest shade that I'll show you in just a moment. But I go in with my darkest shade and do my um, darkest colors where my shadows and shading would be. And then I go in with my mid-tone and blend that all out together. And then I go in once more with my lightest color again over the entire thing and this helps it blend a bit. I am going to go back in with an even darker shade and I'm just going to do the very darkest areas. So I don't do too much with this color. I just add those little details in with for my darkest shade and I just think it adds a little bit more dimension. So this is pretty much how I continue to color the entire image. I'm going to put a little bit of music on so you can enjoy watching me color if you enjoy that. If not, you can go ahead and skip to five minutes and 30 seconds where I continue on with the card.
So now that the image is completely colored, I'm going to go ahead and put it back into my Misty. Because I did not remove the stamp, this is going to stamp exactly the way that it did before. So I pick up that Memento Tuxedo Black Ink one more time, I'll ink up this bouquet stamp, and I'm able just to close the door in my Misty with total confidence that it will stamp directly over the lines where I previously stamped, and it won't get messy or anything like that. And I really love the way that this double stamping technique makes the images look a little bit just brighter and they pop out a little bit more. I had originally only planned on using these two florals in my card. So I'm creating the background for my card at the, at the moment, and I'm going to be using the diagonal pinstripe background stamp from the stamp market and I'm going to place that in my Misty and you can see that I've put my cardstock here right in the center of my Misty and this is so I don't get any spaces where the stamp doesn't touch the card so none on the corner or on the side and I'm going to go ahead and put the foam pad back into my Misty because I'll need that for a clear stamp because it doesn't have that rubber with it. I'm using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink to ink up my background stamp and I get this really nice intensely black uh, pinstripe background which I think is going to look really nice with the bright florals and, and the white card base. I've decided to use the sentiment you might be my favorite face on the planet and this sentiment is from the Ink Road stamps. I stamped it with uh, Versafine Onyx Black Ink onto a white piece of cardstock and I trimmed it down and then I thought it would look really pretty if I added a little bit of sparkle and this was the perfect way to do it. So I'm just using this glitter cardstock here and this is in a gold color. I'm adhering it with glue right to the bottom right hand corner and then I'm going to trim it really closely so that it matches on all sides and it's evenly showing. I just want a tiny bit peeking out. I don't need a whole bunch of glitter. Just a little bit is fine with me. So now that I'm done trimming that up, I'm going to place it back onto my card front and rearrange the florals how I think that I would like them to look in the end. As I was putting them on, I decided, you know what? I need a lot more flowers, which tends to happen a lot with me. So I went ahead and colored all of the flowers that I had stamped and I put them in the center of my card front and then placed the sentiment on top of them to make it look like the flowers were growing over the sentiment. I also changed the color of the sentiment strip to a black piece of cardstock with the sentiment embossed in white on top of it. I hope that you have enjoyed learning a bit about how I created this card and what I decided to do with some of the Just Add Color collection by Stephanie Lowe. If you are interested, all of the products used and the link to the collection is in the description of the video and I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.